After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, Canadians know that this Prime Minister and his carbon tax are not worth the cost. The average Ontario family pays $1,674 every year in Liberal carbon taxes. They get back $1,047. I know that it's very difficult for them to understand, but $1,674 is bigger than $1,047. And the tax goes up by 23% on April 1st. So if he won't tax spike the hike or axe the tax, then why won't he let the people decide and call a carbon tax election? The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Conservatives need to stop spreading falsehoods. The PBO has been very clear that 8 out of 10 Canadian families get more money back. It is true now. It will be true in 2030. The only thing that these folks are going to do by taking away the rebate is to make those on modest incomes poorer. Shame on you for that. While his climate plan is essentially to let the, the planet burn, the Conservatives essentially have, have a policy that is both reckless on the environment and reckless on affordability. Wow. I'd like to remind all members, of course, to direct their comments through the chair. The Honourable Member from uh, Thornhill. Just because the Minister repeats something over and over again, it doesn't make it true. That Liberal, that liberal math might make sense in fantasy land. But the math the Canadians are doing is painfully real as they try to put food on their table. And those Liberals have the audacity to believe that Canadians want to pay more in taxes, not less. The Conservatives are giving this government the chance to test that audacity and call a carbon tax election. If the Liberal government believes that everyone loves the carbon tax, then why won't they agree to go to the polls? What are they scared of? The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources. Once again, Mr. Speaker, I would say the Conservatives need to stop spouting falsehoods. Right. The average net benefit to Canadians in Ontario is $255 a year, in Manitoba $365 a year, in Alberta $723 a year, in Saskatchewan $349 a year. What these folks are going to do is make poor people poorer, and they are going to essentially sacrifice the future of our children going forward. Shame on you! The Honourable Member from Lakeland. But no matter what the Minister yells and flails about, it's clear that the NDP Liberals are not worth the cost because after eight years, Canadians can hardly afford to eat, heat and house themselves. Near Lakeland, the Cold Lake Food Bank said last year was their busiest ever. Quote, we gave out over 6,000 hampers throughout the year. So far this year hasn't slowed down. 6,000, by the way, is 40% of the town's population. And a million more Canadians wow. will be forced to go to food banks this year over last. But this Prime Minister, he plans to to quadruple his carbon tax anyway. So when will the Prime Minister cancel his April cruel day, spike the hike and axe the tax? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I will share with you what is cruel. What's cruel is that the Conservatives would cut the carbon rebate, which, Mr. Speaker, is a price on pollution. Eight out of ten Albertans receive more money from the Canada carbon rebate than they pay at the end of the year. $700 more in the pockets of Albertans. What do Conservatives want to do? Cut. What will we do as Liberals? We will defend the planet. We will make sure there are good jobs. And we'll make sure that life is more affordable for Albertans and all Canadians. member from Lakeland. Except the Liberal schemes and spin jobs can't cover up the cruel fact that the cost of everything is up and so are emissions because the carbon tax is a cash grab and not an environmental plan. But the parliamentary budget officer, he tells the truth. Unlike them, like most Canadians, Albertans will pay almost $1,000 more this year than they get back in fake rebates. So today, Conservatives will vote non-confidence in the costly coalition to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime.